Hey everyone, welcome back to another art video. So I recently made this tiny parrot paper art. Here it is. And I thought today I would take you through my process as I make a tiny toucan paper art using this cute three by three frame. Let's go. I have my printed sketch with some of the layers separated. I'll be using a variety of paper, tracing paper, my X-Acto knife and glue. I'll list out the supplies in the description box below. I've been making more paper art pieces recently because I'll be doing my first ever craft market in about two weeks time. So I wanna make sure I have a good variety of art to display. I think I'll be making a video about my process and how I prepared for that first market. So stay tuned for that in an upcoming video. As I've mentioned in my other paper art videos, the process is pretty much the same. So I work on my sketch in Procreate on my iPad so that I can visualize the colors I wanna use and the layout, you know, the size of the final piece and all of that. And then I print it out so that I have something to reference when I start cutting out the different shapes. I could use a light box, but sometimes if my paper that I'm using is too dark, then I can't see through it even with the light box. So in that case, I like to use the tracing paper to outline my shape. Then I stick that to the paper that I'll be cutting. It can be a little tedious cutting out all the different bits, but it's also part of the charm, you know, having something handmade. I also do find it to be kind of like a meditative process, you know, like I can just sit here at my desk and for hours and just cut away all these little pieces. So here's a little small tip um, when you're cutting some of these shapes out try to make some of the shapes larger than what they are so for instance this black piece is going to be a little bit bigger than what it is here in the drawing so that when i glue the yellow on top of the black i have something to glue it onto and then for the beak i'm um, actually i'm thinking i'm going to cut it out in white so that later i can go in and paint it with all these different colors Okay, so these are my first three little toucan pieces and now let's go ahead and make some more feathers. So as you see here, for some pieces, I actually don't use a template or like a, I don't trace from my sketch. I just kind of eyeball these, you know, I feel like I don't really need to have these be exactly like how they are in the sketch. You know, the feather could be a slightly bit longer, a little bit thicker, like it doesn't matter that much so i go ahead and just draw these directly on the paper and it is a little bit easier when you're cutting the paper without having the tracing paper on top of it because that just makes it a little harder when you have to hold it down so that it doesn't move you know in certain parts and it also makes it a little bit thicker to cut but yeah so for some pieces i just go ahead and wing it Check out this hole puncher. Are you ready for this? This thing makes the tiniest hole punches. <laughs> like, I was not expecting it to be this tiny, but it actually works out for these little tiny paper arts that I'm making. So I'm actually going to punch out this little pink um, dot so that I can use it as the cheek for the toucan. Toucan, toucan, not really sure how you pronounce that, but I think it's toucan. 
All right, so once I've got all my paper cut, I'll start adding in some more color variation now um, by painting certain pieces. I'll use gouache paint, um, and I'll also use color pencils. Sometimes I use um, like a black fine liner, you know, things like that to just kind of give it some more dimension, some more texture in certain areas. And finally, it's time for the gluing process and and to put it all together. So this is where it can start getting a little sticky, literally. Uh, sometimes it's hard to glue these tiny things together and it can get a little messy, uh, but I think it's worth it in the end. So here's the little finished bird. And now we put together the background. So it feels a little bit like a puzzle at this part, like figuring out where all these uh, little leaves go. But I also kind of just... Um, intuitively place them where they look you know where i think they'll look correct so i don't always stick to the sketch or how i drew it out you know because at the end of the day it's just whatever looks right once you have everything cut out So just adding in the last final details with this white jelly roll pen and now it's time to show you the final toucan tiny paper art piece. Thank you for checking out my paper art process. I hope you enjoyed it and I have several other paper art videos that you can check out here. If you like this content, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing. Hope to see you next time.